Hi Lions, it's Mr. Salter. And Mrs. Hall. And welcome to the newest episode of the Positive Lions News. First, we want to recognize this week's Central Region Teamwork Award winner, and it is Mrs. Sacco. Mrs. Hall and I wrote that Mrs. Sacco has done a tremendous job in her first year as the kindergarten team leader. She has led her team in creating meaningful and enriching activities all year to enhance social emotional learning for all students. During distance learning, Mrs. Sacco led her team in creating a kindergarten roundup video and she's currently working on a virtual kindergarten promotion ceremony. Mrs. Sacco embodies what a kindergarten teacher should be, caring and compassionate with high expectations to push her students to grow. Congratulations, Mrs. Sacco. This week, we are recognizing our final Character Counts winners. One student from each class has been nominated for overall character from the entire school year. Congratulations, everybody. Hello, Cypress Trails. It's been an honor for us to recognize so many of our students for good character this year. We know all our students are working hard to improve on all the character traits every day, and we look forward to recognizing many more of you next year. And now it's time for our shout outs from virtual learning. This week we are featuring kindergarten. We're starting with Miss Brown's homeroom. Miss Brown would like to recognize Zach Cortez. Zach has eagerly shared details about his work assignments at their daily virtual class meetings. He gives expressive oral details and shows paperwork. He is confident with his responses and listens as others share in the class. Zach is positive about his learning and he enjoys talking about his books and activities he does at home. Continue to do your best, Zach. Mrs. Brown would also like to recognize Jason Hernandez. Jason is being recognized for his dedication and attendance in the virtual class meets. He was excited to show work, show and tell items, and complete his assignments daily with support. Jason has shown improvement with communication during the class meets. He is a student who is learning directions in two languages. Keep making progress, Jason. Ms. Dupre would like to recognize Stephanie Ratliff. She has nominated Stephanie for giving 100% while working from home. She likes to take the initiative to go above and beyond what is asked of her, including iReady and SuccessMaker. 
She enjoys taking pictures of what she's working on or doing while at home and sharing them with Miss Dupre. Stephanie is always enthusiastic and ready to take on any challenge sent her way. Way to go, Stephanie. Also, Miss Dupre is recognizing, Ma recognizing Mason Williams. She would like to nominate Mason Williams for his dedication toward his schoolwork while working from home. He continues to put forth 100% effort into everything he does, including showing up to Google Meets. He has learned how to navigate the chat box, type complete sentences, and use emoji extensions to raise his hand and comment. He is very supportive during the meets, including sharing out and helping to create a sense of community with his peers. Mrs. Fleckner would like to nominate Lamar Douglas. Lamar is being recognized for his hard work and determination. He completes his work weekly and always answers the daily morning message question. He has become a friend to many with his gentle and welcoming spirit. Lamar has a lot of drive to accomplish great things, just like his favorite book character, Miles Morales. Mrs. Fleckner is also recognizing Amaya Ezer. Amaya works diligently and successfully completes her work each week. Amaya even recorded herself reading a book on Raz Kids. Way to go, Amaya! She always has a smiling face at Google Meets and enjoys participating in the virtual spirit days, especially pets and pajamas with her cats. Uh, Mrs. Fleckner looks forward to seeing her in first grade and knows she will do wonderful. Great job! Mrs. Sacco would like to recognize Nandi Castillo. Nandi has continued her studies at home by completing daily lessons on Success Maker and Imagine Learning. She has learned so much this year and she can now use English for conversation and to communicate. She loves to help others and join in on class discussions. She is gaining more confidence each day. Nandi is a caring and genuine friend to all. Nandi received applause when she was able to attend her first Google Meet. You are a superstar, Nandi, way to go. Mrs. Sacco is also recognizing Rayon Hiram. Rayon, the superstar, has done an amazing job and has excelled at virtual school. He consistently attends each Google Meet with a big smile and is so happy to see his friends. Rayon has shown responsibility by completing his work in a timely manner and turning it into Mrs. Sacco daily. He is seen as a caring and compassionate friend and leader in class and takes his role as a big brother at home just as seriously. Rayon has believed in himself this year and has had made great progress in all subjects. Well done, Mr. Hiram. And now it's time for shout outs from home. First, we have Elise Egipsiaco. We'd like to congratulate Elise on reaching this milestone and working so hard to get here. Her parents say that she's a wonderful daughter, great sister, and sweet granddaughter. She's fun, helpful, kind, creative, and so much more. We are so proud of her. And we have Scarlett Medina. Scarlett's family said that they would like to recognize Scarlett for the fantastic job she has done doing with her distance learning. She is disciplined, a hard worker, and a fast learner, making my job so much easier. And that is it for this week's Positive Lions News. We once again congratulate all of you. Um, we are now getting ready for the last week of school. This morning we had a wonderful ceremony for each of our kindergarten classes and congratulations again to all of our kindergartners for finishing kindergarten. We can't wait to see you next year, give you the biggest hug and congratulate you as first graders. This summer, we want to continue to support you uh, while you're at home. So if you borrowed a laptop or Chromebook, you're gonna hold on to that all summer long. Um, if you are staying in, in, um, in our school, or if you're leaving us and you're going to a different school, you can also hold on to that. If you're a fifth grader going to sixth grade, or if you're going to a different school within the school district, you can hold on to that because we want to support you um, as much as possible this summer. To do that, we have a couple of things that you can do for summer learning. First, if you go into your portal, 
I want you to find what is called the Instructional Continuity Site Tile. And it looks just like this. If you go in there, at the top, you're going to see right here a spot that says Summer Learning Essentials. And when you open that, I want you to look for the grade level that you are going into. So if you are in kindergarten, you are going to be an incoming first grader. Every week, you will find a new lesson in there that will help get you ready to go to your next grade level. You'll have books read to you. You'll have activities that you can do in math and science, and all of those will be geared towards getting you ready for next year. Also, we encourage you to continue iReady and also SuccessMaker. We want you to keep growing as a reader in iReady and growing as a mathematician in SuccessMaker. So please continue to work on those 45 minutes each week. SuccessMaker, that would give you three different times during the week, 15 minutes each. And then iReady, we encourage you to break it up um, and not do the 45 minutes all at once as well. Each week, keep working hard. Get those whiteboards or paper out to, to work out your math problems and take your time. Read carefully. We want to continue for you to grow to get ready for next school year. So have a wonderful weekend. Happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody. Um, if your family or anybody um, that you know served in our military, um, you know we, we always salute you and we always thank you for your service. Um, so happy Memorial Day as we honor um, all of those throughout time that have served in our military or are currently serving. Um, and next week is the last week of school, and we will have some awesome ceremonies for third grade on Wednesday next week of the 27th, fourth grade on the 28th on Thursday, and then our fifth graders, we're so proud of you guys. You will always be a lion, and we will honor you um, finishing fifth grade on Friday, May 29th with our ceremonies. Have a great weekend, everybody. 